Welcome! This is what is happening on the sun today, the 14th of April 2012. We have some sunspots growing, and so that is a harbinger of some increased activity. My apologies that I was unable to uh, post this video yesterday, but I was having terrible trouble with my computer. But first, our trivia question. On the 14th of April in 1986, 92 people died from a natural disaster in Bangladesh. What was that natural disaster? We have a limited amount of SDO AIA data available. Uh, I've made a few videos uh, of some of the stuff that I was not using today and put it on my Twitter page. So if you want to go take a look at uh, some of those videos, you're more than welcome to do so. We have four officially numbered regions on the disk. They've added 1458 and 1459 uh, to the list as they rotated onto the uh, disk from the East Limb yesterday. There are also a couple of other small regions that, if you look carefully, are nearest disk center in the south. These have yet to be numbered. There are some new regions coming over the uh, east limb. You can see 1459 down there in the southeast. But also behind the northeast limb, there is a big region, obviously, uh, that's quite active, that's about to come onto the disk in the next day or two. You can see it here more clearly in the combination image of the corona taken with the Solar Dynamics Observatory and the stereo in A and B spacecraft, which gives us a full 360 degree view of the sun. The region is this large one in the northeast, and as you can see, it's bigger and brighter than anything else around at the moment. Well, you might have got the impression that the last month was not all that particularly active. If you look at the GOES data for the last solar rotation, it looks quite active. So let's take a look at the 28 day movie that NOAA has put together. Any flash here is actually a flare. There's a big data gap where the uh, NOAA spacecraft had a problem. These large faint eruptions that you see are the origins of coronal mass ejections. You can see the number of coronal holes, including the southern polar coronal hole here, which is the, uh, an indicator that we're not at solar maximum yet. Those polar regions will disappear. And here's our big uh, coronal hole that caused the geomagnetic storm over the last couple of days. And here you can see the new regions coming over the northeast limb. We had region 1454 growing quite rapidly towards the end of this period. So I have a couple of movies here of the uh, growth of that region. First of all, a magnetic movie using the SDO HMI magnetogram. And as you can see, it starts off with a little sign of this region, but suddenly it grows up in the midst of an old region and then develops quite rapidly. Here, the dark color are negative polarity and the light, light color is positive polarity. Then we go to the same movie, but now in white light, just as you would see it through a telescope, for example. And again, initially no spots at all. Then two sets of spots seem to grow quite rapidly. So you see the magnetic field is emerging in the middle of the region. And that's forcing the two sunspots further and further apart. We've had some quite spectacular coronal mass ejections over the last couple of days at the time of the CMEs. First, the first CME is off the southwest limb and the second one is off the northeast limb presumably from this region that's behind the northeast limb at the moment then i've made a, a couple of movies of the events in helium 2 304 uh, showing the eruptions that actually cause these coronal mass ejections first the one in the southeast is quite large and you can see it sort of developing relatively slowly, but over a very, very large area. You can see the twisting and untwisting of the magnetic fields. And it looks as though that prominence in the southeast there is ready to go as well. So we might, get, we might get a second one in the next day or so. Secondly, we move to the region in the northwest. And this is a much more spectacular and intense event, but quite a bit shorter. You can see the intensity of the uh, region growing. And then suddenly this huge splash of material is thrown out into space, uh, but over a period of time, a lot of it falls back again, particularly towards the end here, if you watch carefully. carefully. So our forecast summary for solar activity is that it's been very low for the last few days. We've just had a couple of sea flares. Um, the sunspot number has been around about 50, and we've had um, a few B flares, and, and in the last few hours, a couple of C flares. The forecast for today through the next two days uh, is that we'll probably get isolated sea flares unless one of these regions really takes off and starts to grow. 
Otherwise, solar activity will remain low to very low. The heliosphere, we've had two faint CMEs. The solar wind has been up to over 500 kilometers per second, actually at one point re nearly reaching 700 kilometers per second, uh, as that uh, large coronal hole that I mentioned earlier became geo-effective. But that's now passing, and the solar wind is now settling back to more normal levels. Forecast over the next few days is 1 to 2 CMEs per day. The solar wind speed is expected to be low, but might increase with another small coronal hole is expected to become geo-effective towards the end of the three-day period. We've had a fairly unsettled conditions in geospace. We've had a lot of reports of aurora as far south as the US-Canadian border. Forecast is for conditions to remain rather like that, uh, basically quiet to unsettled. <clears throat> Neither of the CMEs we saw are going to be geo-effective, it seems, and so Aurora will remain at relatively high latitudes. So what was the answer to our trivia question? What natural disaster killed 92 people in Bangladesh 25 years ago today? Well, the answer is a hailstorm. <clears throat> Pieces of hail weighing up to two pounds pelted the, the population there and uh, killed 92 people and a lot, injured a lot more. I'll be giving a, another public lecture to the Tri-State Astronomers uh, entitled What on Earth is Space Weather? That will be occurring on uh, the 18th of April at 7.30 at the British Planetarium. For details go to the Tri-State Astronomers um, website. So if you'd like to find out more about what's going on in the Sun, go to some of the links I've posted in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video and see some of my other videos, then go to my uh, channel and they're all listed there. If you want to see some other videos that I've put together for, the, for today but didn't use, uh, go to my Twitter page. If you like, <clears throat> and if you'd like to keep abreast of what's going on on the sun, uh, please subscribe. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.